Well, first of all, because uh, more women means more peace. Uh, we know that uh, um, this is not a women's issue, but it is actually a peace and security issue. If women are involved in uh, um, negotiating peace, uh, they are, if they are around the table where, where peace is uh, being discussed and uh, peace agreements are being signed, we know that it will last longer. So this is important to foreign policy. We identified three parameters to use uh, to uh, pursue and implement a feminist foreign policy. First, to look at whether women and girls enjoy the same rights, legal and human rights, uh, as men and boys. Secondly, that uh, they are represented, that they have a voice, that they are there around the tables where important decisions are being made. And thirdly, that resources also are allocated to the needs of uh, women and girls around the world. Uh, some of the best results, I would say, is to make sure that, for example, in um, the resolutions and uh, the statements by the UN Security Council, this is now integrated. It's a given thing to mention also how women play a role. Women, peace and security is firmly put on the agenda of, of the Security Council. Um, I would say I would also mention sexual and reproductive health and uh, right issues and also how we have um, worked uh, with the violence against uh, women um, and managed to uh, rally uh, so many more countries to, to do more against violence uh, against women. Uh, well, uh, I think uh, economic opportunities uh, is also very, very important. And we also started a project called Wikigap, where we made sure that uh, also women are editors on Wikimedia, uh, Wikipedia. And uh, I think this is uh, something that we need to continue to make sure that women and what women do is made visible uh, and that they can participate uh, fully.